The topic of this video is computing directional derivatives with gradients. Let f be a differentiable function at the point a, b, and let u, which equals the vector u sub 1, u sub 2, be a unit vector in the xy plane. The directional derivative of f at the point a, b in the direction of the vector u is denoted by this notation and it equals the dot product of the gradient of f evaluated at a, b, and u. Before we apply this formula to an example, let's review the geometric meaning of the directional derivative. Here's a surface z equal f of x, y, and a point a, b in the x, y plane, the corresponding point a, b, f of a, b on the surface, and the unit vector u, which equals the vector u1, u2. To explain the meaning of the directional derivative of f at a, b in the direction of u, let's first draw a line l passing through the point a, b parallel to the vector u. Then we place a vertical plane in this figure passing through the line l. Then observe that this plane and the surface intersect in a curve. Finally, we sketch a line in the plane that's tangent to the curve at the point a, b, f of a, b. The slope of this line is the directional derivative of f at a, b in the direction of u. So when we calculate the directional derivative of f at the point a, b in the direction of u, we are calculating the slope of a curve on the surface at the point a, b, f of a, b in the direction of the vector u. So let's compute the directional derivative of the function f of x, y equal to x sine of y at the point 1 pi in the direction of the vector 3, negative 4. In this case, the directional derivative is equal to the dot product of the gradient of f evaluated at 1 pi and the vector u. So let's begin by calculating the gradient of f. This is a vector whose first component is the partial derivative of f with respect to x, which equals sine of y. And the second component of the vector is the partial derivative of f with respect to y, which would be x cosine of y. Now we want to calculate the value of this gradient vector at the point 1 pi. So we replace x with 1 and y with pi in this vector to obtain the vector sine of pi 1 times the cosine of pi, which equals 0, negative 1. To calculate the directional derivative, we also need to know the unit vector u. And the problem here is that the vector we're given, 3, negative 4, is not a unit vector. So let's call this the vector v. What we need is a unit vector u that's parallel to v that has the same direction as v. And recall that u equals v divided by the magnitude of v, which is equal to the vector 3, negative 4, over the square root of 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. And since the denominator simplifies the square root of 25, or 5, we have 3, negative 4, divided by 5, which equals 3 fifths, negative 4 fifths. So we know the gradient vector at 1 pi equals 0, negative 1, and we know the unit vector is 3 fifths, negative 4 fifths. Therefore, the directional derivative of f at 1 pi in the direction of u equals the gradient of f evaluated at 1 pi dotted with the unit vector u, which equals 0, negative 1, dotted with 3 fifths, negative 4 fifths, which equals 4 fifths.